Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. So I've been working on the front of the house here, trying to get it in shape for the horde. Now, we've got some time before the traders open up. So I want to go ahead and try and get as much of this prepped as I can. We're going to need three more of those make five because I think we need ones for the end there too so let's put one here and here uh, so yeah I've got the outside kind of done I didn't upgrade it with um, from regular flagstone to brick here yet on the outside but the inside we've got it all kind of stored away I haven't done this yet but I think I'm going to leave this for like this for now this gives us the ability to see out here and shoot if we have to. Um, I don't know if we're going to need to, but at least it gives us that ability and we can drop pipe bombs down out here or throw them out through that way, whatever. Now, I did take out the other hatch here uh, and put the two bars in like I said I was going to do. Now, I haven't updated everything on the outside yet. I'm going to go do that now. Uh, we'll leave this hatch in here as a backup just in case, but I don't think they'll ever break through these two. They might come through the wall, but... That'll be about it. That's why I wanted to have a little bit extra here because we can add plates on the inside to this. You know, add a curve block in here or something, you know, on plates just to protect. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Now let's go around the front. I'm going to get the rest of this done. We've got like an hour or so before the trader shows up. Or, sorry, wakes up, I guess. Lazy ass. Uh, so let's go ahead and get all this updated. Now what I did was... I just basically put this out too, giving it enough of a front porch so that they can just kind of run up. This is as, probably as far as I'll upgrade this until we decide to change things a bit. Uh, in which case I might knock out the stairs and extend the inside a little bit more. So it comes, so this will all be covered over. But we'll have to see how things play out over the next couple horde nights. And then I upgraded these and I just made these plates. Now they may struggle here and they may try and get up on the roof but my goal is to extend this up right so we'll put one can't put it there because there's a block in the way because of course there is oops there we go just takes a little bit of time to figure it out you know, we'll probably put plates up here too so that they can't stand on. Actually, let's do that now. So we need... We don't, we don't want them standing on here either. So we need three, four, five, six, seven more. Get those going while we do this. Now, I didn't do the sides here. Just this part. I didn't do this part because, like I said, we can drop pipe bombs down here really effectively... Uh, and they didn't really hit on any of this last time that they were trying to get to us. So uh, I just want to make sure that the front is held because if a lot of them show up. Uh, the big fear, of course, is them breaking in. Like once they start breaking blocks, you know, there's going to be problems. So let's do that. That and that. So it, if they stack up here, they won't be able to get up and stand on this. Because getting onto the roof will be the end of us. Guaranteed. Shape. And flat. And on face. I think that'll be all the updating we'll have to do for this next horde. So these blocks are 1500. And then, you know, so 1500 for the plate, 1500 for the wall. And then you know 2500 for each one of these bars which we can repair as we're going and then this thing has got 3000 hit points so plenty we should be just fine now we're gonna go ahead I don't know if that's gonna matter or not but let's just get this I don't want any part of our house falling down before we've had a chance to get it going here Okay, so that's all updated. We'll be working on the roof and stuff later on. I'm not worried about that now. Oh, thirsty. 
All right, let's get inside, get something to eat, something to drink, load up with everything we need for the trader. Then we'll go see the first guy, see what he's got going on. Uh, go over to the second guy, see what they've got going on, and then we'll go from there. Okay, bacon and eggs. Hopefully we can buy some, uh, hopefully we can buy some bacon and eggs today. Or not bacon and eggs, but eggs anyway. Get three of these in us. Drop this in here. I'm taking some coffee with us because if we don't find what we need at the first trader, I want to be able to quickly get to the second trader. So um, all this stuff. I was going to make some, uh, what is it, pumpkin, pumpkin cheesecake, whatever it is. Uh, the problem was is I don't have uh, all the ingredients that I need for that. Um, these these mods we're saving until we can find an item to throw them on because we'll get a lot more for them if they're in an item. Uh, we might as well throw, sell that. Might as well sell that. What the hell? Um, sure. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, so like I said, those mods will make an item that much more worth it to sell. So we're just going to save them until we can find something to throw them in. Alright, so if we do find a mixer here today, uh, I don't know if we'll absolutely have to go to the second trader. Um, the coffee, do we definitely want to keep. Rockbuster, well, I don't know. Let's go see what he's got first, then we'll decide what we're doing here. Alright, buddy. Something you want to buy? Or Maybe. Trade? Let's find out. What you got for me today? Alright. Mining helmet, no. Night Stalker Volume 2. Sneak better at night. Um, take 5% damage, less damage when wearing a sloot. Sloot? Make sure we got our sloot on. I never did check to see if we got a sledge. We'll do that before we go to the second trader. Because we can always come back here. That would be nice to have for this next Horde Night. Not necessarily a must, but... Those things are nice to keep the mobs away from the doors. Um, not a lot there. The gunpowder we'll probably end up buying. Uh, the crushed sand maybe too. Um, if we can get a mixer, that would be nice. We got our, we got an AK already. Nothing there. Press. Wow, you got nothing. God, I'm feeling ripped off. Um, I don't think we buy anything here yet. <sighs> Let's just sell a couple of crappy things that are worth very little to free up some space. Um, cool. That gives us enough. We'll drink the coffee and then go. Uh, the bellows would be nice, but they're not necessarily a must. Good luck with that. Ah, uh, dude, really. All right, let's get to that second trader. Um, God, I'm feeling. Uh, I hope this guy's got what we want. Actually, you know what? Let's quickly have a look here. We got one point. All right, we don't have enough for uh, the next level better barter, which would be nice, but. Let's hold on to it. I don't know what I want to. I don't know what I want to spend it on just yet. Well, there's Big Mama. Oh, got a piece of me, eh? I heard you. Nothing. All right, buddy. Welcome. Free to look around. Thanks. Got what I need. Ooh, a lot of concrete mix. Want a mixer? Ooh, forged steel. That's nice. Lucky Looter Volume Seven is what? Find more medical supplies. Night Stalker. Extra fifty percent damage to sleeping victims at night. That's kind of a later game, I think. Ooh, 250 gunpowder. That's nice. Uh, a little bit of ammo. 
I got five eggs. And I never did check on the way past our house to see if we got a robotic sledge. I don't think we do. Um, God damn it. Fucking squat. Volume four. Land silently unless you're taking damage and jump height is not reduced. Ooh, steel tool schematic. That's a possibility. Um, craft AP44 ammo. Large pipes. No thanks. Already got one. Um, hmm. Well, it's definitely not burning worth burning an awesome sauce for, but maybe we should. By the concrete. He's got a lot of concrete here. We got enough time. If we want that robotic sledge, we've got enough time to get it. Let's just do it. All right, let's burn these. Tomorrow, we get new no, I'm still. I'm, I'll be here for a while. Get that ten percent. Oh, I forgot the cigar. Damn it. Ah. Uh, Oh well, not much I can do. Buy these. Let's sell all this stuff. Alright, let's see what we can get off you here. Concrete mix. 3250. Done. Steel tool schematic. We saved 600 on that. Urban Combat Volume 4 is 650. I'm going to go ahead and buy it because we're trying to finish that book up. Nitrate powder is like dirt cheap. Let's just buy it. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Forged steel at 65 a pop, 21.45. Buying it. I don't know when we're going to see a crucible. That's why I'm buying it. Um, don't need anything there. Nothing there. The all the gunpowder. Um, we just buy the 7.62. How much is that? 900. Mm. Cobblestone. Do we buy the rest of this? You know it's going to be crappy is if we buy this and then we find the find the schematic somewhere today. Well, let's just stick with the thousand that we bought. I don't want to waste too much. Uh, we got everything we need from there. The raw meat we don't need. Uh, Magnum Enforcer 235. All right, that's pretty good. Although we could buy the re well, we can make rebar frames. Safe travels. All right. Let's use both of these guys. Now, how much time do we have before it wears off? Seven minutes. Um, let's take a couple things back. Fuck it, take it all. Not overweight. Might as well do it. Oh, come on. Come on. Got a little bit of time for the coffee. Ooh, here it is a bear there. Hey, he's following us. Good thing we drank the coffee. Wonder how far he'll come. I mean, I guess I should turn around and check to see if we can actually kill this guy with uh, both weapons. But I prefer it if we just lose, lose him. Like that. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Letterman's jacket and light armor. Padded armor. It's really terrible armor, but shit's not gonna catch you unless you're on unless you're on um, nightmare mode, in which case you can't run away. They'll they'll chase you down no matter what. They're always on like they're faster than sprint. They're faster than you, right? So you have to fight them. But unless you're on that Letterman jacket and the fucking like even if you get those sneakers, the running sneakers that give you plus 20% stamina regen while you're running. Then get rule get uh, rule one cardio up to level three, which I think is plus thirty percent stamina regen. So it's plus fifty percent stamina regen while you're running. You know you're going full speed all the time. The only thing that would I and mean, you just drink coffee or the mega crushers. The only thing that would kill you would end up being um, food. Oh shit! I gotta go in the back door. Gotta remember there's no front door anymore now. All right, in the back door. 
Fucking sleeping zombies, man. Keep freaking me out. Um. Okay. Uh. You can go in there. Let's put you in there. You can go in there. Uh. Meltables. Okay. Um. That stuff can go in there. You can go down there. This is the gunpowder. Don't need the awesome sauce. Might as well just leave it in there. We're going to sell this at the other guy. Uh, and then this stuff can go in here. Now, junk sledge. I don't think we have one, right? No. I can put this on, though. Uh, yeah, see these running shoes? Plus 20% stamina regen while you're running? <laughs> like, it's crazy. You can easily outdistance everything. I should be wearing this shit more often. I should keep these in my inventory. Um, want the junk sludge? No. You know what? We're not going for the junk sludge. No, we're not going to do it. Because if we do it, here's the thing. Let's wear this so we don't get overheated. Um, if we go for the junk sledge, then it, that mixer is going to show up somewhere along the lines. We won't have the money for it. Alright, let's go do something today. Alright, close this. Let's get out of here. I think I know what I want to do. Good to go here. Let's go over to the fire station. There's a fire station over here. I know it's got a couple of gun safes in it, so we're going to go check that out. I was I, I was really hoping to find that, um, and I guess I should have been looking a little bit better for it, but there's a house that's got a crap ton of bookshelves. It's got a big uh, um, porch at the back. It's stairs that go up to the second level of the porch. And uh, it's got a ton of bookshelves in it. It's always worth going in there. I know that my game stage is up a little higher. It would totally be worth it, but... Check around the corner. Alright, let's do this place. Okay, wake up, fuckers. Daddy's home. Wow. Okay, bow's out. Ooh. I see you, motherfucker. I'm just going to turn that off for a second. Hearing them sleepers, I think they're upstairs. Let's go smoke the guys upstairs first. And then we'll come back down here. Uh-huh. I hear ya. I don't see you. That's weird. They're probably in there. Okay, well. I got two so far that I can see. Oh, we got another guy over here. Trying to play all cool and hide on me. Oh, we got another guy down there. Oh, do we have a runner? No, I missed his head. That's what it is. Ah, oh, fuck. Over here, dude. Gather my arrows here. What's up, buddy? Oh, hey. Hey, skater dude. Can I... Does this door open? There you go. Let him out. You coming out? I'm over here, buddy. Dude. Get off the freaking furniture. You did... Use your mom let you play like that at home? Probably not. Alright, what do we got in here? Two safes. 
I wonder if we should run home and grab the eye candy. This place is clear now. I think it might be worth it for the saves. I say let's go do that. All right, coming right back. All right, one eye candy. Uh, I guess I should have been wearing those fighting the bad guys, but whatever. You know what? We're going to clear this building out when we come back, too, because goddamn, I'm tired of those guys friggin' snoring in my ear. All right, first thing we've got to do is open up all these boxes. And then, whatever is inside them, if there's anything good. Yep, yeah, not that. Bet you it's all garbage. Watch. Uh, let's get a couple frames here. Uh, I'm just gonna pop this now because I ain't coming back up here. Come on. Oh, fucking leather couch, really? It's a fire station. Why are they like leather couches, man? Really? Oh, don't do that yet. Ooh, bathroom. Knock, knock. All right, what else we got here? We got two more up here. All right, working stiffs. We still got to crack those two safes. So that's the box. AC unit, really? Okay, let's, we only got like two lock picks. Three, yeah, two lock picks. Oh, uh, let's hope we get these. All right, we got super lucky and got that one in the first shot. Now, what about this guy? Oh, man, we got them both in the first shot. Nice. I think all the boxes are open. Well, oh, we missed these two. Because, of course, we did. Here, here's a dog doing some shit outside. Don't know if you can hear it. He's just in the distance there. Might as well check this. Clank coming back up here. Might as well check this because I ain't coming back up here. Not for that I ain't. Alright, let's get this eye candy in. And we'll check this shiz out here. Five minutes. What do we got here? Gun safe. Okay. Steel club parts. I like the dog is fighting with somebody out there. Blueberry and eggs. Why is it just one blueberry? Like honestly, who is it that said, hey, let's make the loot table have like one blueberry? Like honestly, that's what somebody would have had to say. I think the loot, the loot table should have blueberries, but I think it should only be one. Because why would you want to give the characters any more than one blueberry. I mean, really, when would they use any more than one? Oh, steel tool parts. Beautiful. I want to see if we can make a steel pickaxe. That's what I want to see. All right, what do we got in the kitchen here? Nothing there. Coffee. Ooh, ammo. A little bit of metal. Nothing there. We've got tons of leather, don't need that. But I will take the chair because we can wrench it at home. One feather. That was totally worth it. Oh, we can sell that. What about upstairs here? Was there anything? These guys? Oh, they both work. Nothing. Alright, boots we can sell. And was there anything? Yeah, a backpack. Sure. Don't know where that fucking dog is. Grab this. And then we got a couple things of garbage around here. I'm just gonna take it all for now. Ooh, yucca! Finally! 
We know how to make the seeds. We just didn't have any yucca. But now we've got one yucca seed. We can start farming it. Beautiful. Any more trash or anything? I think that's it. So I think I'm going to gather up all the leather in here. Uh, maybe as much of this plastic as I can get to. I'm not selling it right now. I'm keeping all the plastic that we've been collecting. Um... Because I think we need it for steel arrows. And I know there's other recipes that require a fair amount of plastic, like 40 or more. So just want to make sure we got a good stockpile so I don't have to actually go searching for this later. I mean, plastic is one of those things that's relatively easy to get, but... If I can get it now, I might as well have it in stock so I don't have to go searching for it. And I think that's it. Anything good in here? We've already looked, but we can replace our eye candy, but we are overloaded. Jailbreakers. Uh, let's go upstairs. There's that dog's outside. All right, I'm going to put... I can't. Really? Will that block anything from coming up the stairs, do you think? I don't know. Because we're going to go ahead and hit these up. I want all the springs from here. It's kind of sucky that you can't... Uh, like, I can't wrench these. So it's just a waste hitting them, you know? The wrench does more damage, but... Just barely. Okay, what can we leave here? What do I not need? Let's go ahead and scrap these guys. We're going to get two things out of this. What about this? the blue die out. Go ahead and scrap that. And then... Oh, that's level 2. Check that at home. Let's modify that. Put the blue die in there. You know, I started making pipe bomb. The weird thing is, is like, a couple nights back, I'm like, let's get some ammo running. Let's get some extra pipe bombs. We only have 15. You know, I want to make sure we have enough for a horde night. And then the, the next three quests is just like pipe bombs, pipe bombs, pipe bombs. It's like, fuck you. Just wasted all my fucking gunpowder on pipe bombs and I didn't need to. Alright, let's get home. There's the dog over there. I'm right here, buddy. Thank you for returning my arrow and... What can I grab off this guy? Well... What do we drop? Bones, bones, bones. Animal fat. We want the... We don't need that. We'll take the one animal fat, but we'll leave the rest of the shit because we got a shit ton of bones. That animal fat is really, really pricey at the trader, and I ain't paying for that shit. Ah, oh, fuck you. Nope, nope, nope. God damn it. These guys don't hit very hard. That's kind of weird. Probably got something to do with the difficulty level. Because it's still... I st still remember... Insane difficulty. Wait, was that animal fat? No, it couldn't have been. Um, I keep talking about insane difficulty, but it really is insane. It's like, you start off... Who's a bear over there? You start off, you don't have any armor or anything. And a zombie hits you and you're like, half your hit points are gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you can't... And then you got a wooden club. And it takes three power attacks to the head to knock them down the first time. And then two more power attacks to the head to kill them. And that's if you get all three power attacks to the head. There's, there's no guarantee you're going to get that, right? All right I'm going to do something silly and drop all this stuff in here because I'm sure I'll forget it. Like I did the other time. We're full. Okay, we'll keep this stuff with us. Who cares? We're going next door. To clear out these fucking... Snoring, snoring fucking zombies. We have enough food. Uh, let's get something to eat before we go. Fuck it. 
Ah, don't get stuck on the wall. I gotta put arches in there so I can s easily get through. Uh, food. Let's see, we're down to two, eh? Down to two. Oh, shoot, we do have... Oh, man. That was what we were missing to do the pumpkin spice, or the pumpkin uh, cheesecake. Let's just go ahead and use that. Use one of these. Let's go ahead and wear this. Get some more XP. Actually, you know what? Put that back on because if I decide to leave... If I decide to put the other ones on, I'll forget that I've got them on when I start looting. I know 3% isn't much, but... Okay, guys. You fucking sleepers, where are you? There's one. Wake up! Come on. I thought there was somebody... I keep hearing like a little, like a little kook. And I think it's... Fuck, there's two bears out here now. And a dog. I keep hear, hearing somebody... They're probably on the main floor. I gotta be careful because the bears can get up here. Yeah, I hear him snoring down here. Where are you, fuckers? Your snoring is driving me insane. I need to take care of that. Oh, quiet. Now, I, think, I thought there was a safe back here. Ooh, there is. Is it worth me opening it? Why the fuck did you hear me? I'm worried about these bears. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno, burn, baby, burn. It's weird, day 13. We have not got a runner yet. And I say weird because usually it's like around day 10. I mean, Alpha 18 it was anyway. Day 10 you would get runners. On insane difficulty it's later. Well, for me it's later. Because I don't have quite the number of kills in insane. Um, that you do in um, regular because you just can't um, kill as fast. Alright, we need to find... Where's the way up? On the second floor, probably. Where's that fucking bear? We have to break in a door? Because that won't get me in any trouble. Where are you banging? Are you outside? There's two of them out here. Oh, what's up, buddy? Don't knock me off. Now I'm fatigued. I'm infected. Fuck you guys. I should just shoot them. Then we got two bears. One down. I don't know where the hell that guy came from. He must have been up above and then dropped down on me. Oh, come on. That went right through his head. Alright, and for center of mass. Stop going for the head. There we go. Yeah, he must have been up there.
Okay, so it's almost to the top. We'll deal with the uh, door below us in a second here. There's a ladder up. I guess there's nobody in here? No. Nope. Yeah, there is plenty. They just decided to wait for me to break in. Hey, Mo. Fucking skin job. God, the skin on his face. Looks like my grandfather. My, gr my grandfather got uh, melted in an accident, his face and his hands and everything. And uh, it was a dumbass accident too. It wasn't like it was, uh, you know, something that was like not easily avoidable. But I guess he was like, from wh what I understand of the story, he was like, I guess working with like shellac or something in the basement. And he was smoking and it somehow caught fire. Anyways, so it started, it, of course, caught him on fire and caught the house on fire and um, ended up burning his face, his arm, uh, his ass, and his, like his hands were all burnt. The skin was like hanging off them. And uh, the only thing he could say, is, it was funny because my dad was like there and the only thing he could say when the fire department and everything showed up and they were like treating him was, how's my hair? Does my hair look fine? <laughs> but I guess he's in shock too, right? So it's like, couldn't think of much else to say. Just gotta make sure my hair is okay. Oh fuck, there's three safes in this place. I wonder if it'll be worth using a um, jailbreakers on this place. Maybe it is. We seem to be finding a, enough of them. So we got a safe upstairs, we got a safe here, and one down in the basement, or on the main floor, not basement, but main floor. I think we do that. I mean, we could do it now, too. Let's go do it. Then we can get all three safes done. So let's go upstairs, drop this shit off, take a vitamin, Take a one of these guys. Ah, shit! It's our last vitamin too. Ah, man! I'm so worried about Horde Knight now too. Do we do that? Oops! I want to keep that. That can go though. I don't know. It's, it's iffy. It's totally fucking iffy if we do that. Um, let's hold off. Okay, you can go in there. We got two lock picks. We got three jailbreakers. I don't know why I'm worried. How long do these things last for? Ten minutes. Plenty of time. Uh, we got eye candy too. Let's use them both. So I think tonight I can't do anything. I gotta just sit here. Now we do have the um, fucking bear. We do have the candy that uh, not the candy but the energy bar that reduces the uh, can they get in this way? I don't know if they can. The energy bar reduces the amount of time, so we can take that when we get home. Okay, use that. Use that. Bring this down. So I like the idea of the candy in the game, but I think it needs to be rare. Like, very rare. Getting it out of a vending machine is like, just makes it too easy. Okay, level 2 baseball bat and some machete parts. So 
sorry, machete. Machete. Um, there it is. Number two. Yeah, like I was saying, I think it's just, I don't know. Some of them are just OP, like the uh, oh shits drop. Being able to drop from any height and not take any damage. I get it. I get why it's there, right? So you're up at the top of the biggest building. You finish looting from bottom to top. That kind of sucked, right? And then, like, you use the oh shit drops to just to quickly drop down to the bottom and get the hell out of there. I get it. But, I don't know. Talk about breaking game immersion. <laughs> you know, the best thing, like, it just kind of defeats the purpose of having some of the, um, the perks, like, um, being able to uh, fall a certain distance with 5,000 dukes or more on you. You know what I mean? Like, at that point, it's like, why not just use those shit drops? Why have those shoe things? Oh, look at this. Compound crossbow, iron spear. Okay, it's, it's all level one, though. I'm, I'm, now I'm feeling really ripped off. Oh, well. It was only a couple of hundred. Now I gotta watch out for this bear. Where the fuck is he? He's got me worried. There he is. I ain't that worried. As long as there's no more bears around. The bears have really become less of a nuisance now. It's, I'm kind of shocked at how um, non-threatening they are right now. I guess it's because I'm less scared of them now, you know? You're Earlier in the game, you're completely terrified of them. And then later in the game, you're just like, eh, it's a bear, so what? Alright, we want to throw those in there. I'm just going to drop those in there for now. That goes in there. Here. Got a bunch of stuff that can go in. Um, I thought, oh yeah, that's right. We got five of those. Now we have more of those. Did I sell them? Or did I put them in here somewhere? No, I probably sold them like an idiot. Ah, that's going to get sold. Sold. Meltables. You can get melted. Uh, eggs. One blueberry. That's going to get planted tonight. Oh yeah, meltables. Alright, I'm going to get this stuff sorted. I think that's going to be it. I'm going to have to take that... Uh, Oh, man. Where is it? The energy bar? Do we have it in here? Health bar. That should cut the time in half. Yeah, 55 minutes. That's real time minutes. Though. So it's like 15 minutes tonight. Well, maybe 20 minutes for tomorrow. Uh, I may have to take that vitamin. I can't remember if the trader had any vitamins or not. I'm going to have to look, I think, and see... Now this is worth how much? Actually, let's just scrap that. I hear somebody poking around outside. Okay, we can repair this. Apparently we can't. Now we can. Is there anything else that can get repaired in here? I think I should just scrap these. Well, this is nice. The, the reload on it is so slow. Uh, actually, let's repair it and see how much. This one can get scrapped, though. And then... They, they buy those in five, so we can go ahead and scrap this. So, 84. 94. Well, there's a waste of a repair kit. But at least we figured out what it was. What was what? Um, it's worth 17. Might as well sell it, why not? Uh, that can go in there, and then let's go ahead and modify you. This does what? 10% chance bleeding wound in regular attack. Increases block damage by 10% and lowers degradation by 15. Let's use that. 
because we're not using it on mobs. And then that's worth 17. If we modify it with this, how much is it worth? 32. Oh yeah, boy, that's totally worth it, eh? Um, let's just throw it in there. I should just melt these two. Which is, I think, what we're going to do. Shotgun parts. Anything else to sell? Muffled connector mod. What can we add that to? Sure. Run a negative noise increase. Probably why we could run by those bears and not have to worry about it. <laughs> Gotta say, that was pretty funny. That bear just had, did, had no clue what was going on. Alright, those guys can go in there. Now, steel tools. Actually, before we leave today, uh, this can get on something. Let's put this in here. Actually, wait. Do we have Grave Digger? We don't. Really? I thought we had it. Alright, there we go. Actually, you know what? Can we add this to it too? We can't. Can we add to anything? No. Alright, we'll just leave it in here for now. Alright, more meltables. And then... Sorry, I just need to get this sorted here real quick. Alright, that can go in there. Alright, uh, let's go. Before we do anything else. I should just end this. I don't know why I'm still going here. Probably because I have no focus at the moment. Alright. Uh, quickly. Um, farm plot. Craft. Let's get that done and out of the way with... That way we can plant this mother. Okay. That stuff goes in there. Now, um... What was I going to check on? There was something I was going to check on. What was it, guys? Um, no. No. I can't remember now. Oh, steel tools. Steel pickaxe. We need 10 steel tool parts. And 20 forged steel. We bought the forged steel. Leather duct tape is easy. Steel tool parts. I think we've got like 7. Was it 7 or 9? We got 9. Alright, well... We're close to getting the mini bike together, although we do need a motor, an engine, sorry, I apologize, and a battery, which shouldn't be too hard to get out of vehicles. We don't have the recipe for this yet. Not that we have enough parts for it. All right, well, steel pickaxe would be nice, but we'll have to wait for that. All right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow's Horde Night, so we'll probably get started a little later in the daytime. We'll probably get started when it's time to go over to the traders. Um, actually, we should probably... Anyway, we'll figure it out tomorrow, right? I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.